Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Bad Parenting 101. What? <laughs> so, here's a timeline for you. Amira came home from school, what, Monday? Yeah, Monday. And you'd hurt yourself just before school? Yep. And she's had a sore thumb. Shows yep. me it's swollen, yeah, but it's not crazy. She's not sort of in super pain. And I tend not to go too crazy because if I went to the doctor every time this one said she was sore, they'd just make me a regular appointment. It'd be like yeah. four o'clock weekdays, automatic booked in. Uh. I'm like not having that deal. So anyway, I'm like, yeah, that's right. We'll keep an eye on it, put some ice on it, have some Panadol, see how it goes tomorrow. That was Tuesday. So Tuesday was yesterday. She comes home. She comes home from, no, yeah, she ended up having to come home from school early, man. I had to pick her up and take her to the doctor, take her to the doctors. And yeah, it was all black and yeah. still swollen. Doctor said, we'll do x-rays, but he thinks it's probably a blo uh, pop blood vessel. Popped blood vessel. Hang on. I'm gonna pay attention so we can get out of here. So yeah, so we go get the x-ray and then they're supposed to call me back. They're supposed to call me back with the results. Um, yesterday afternoon, last night. No phone call, so I go to work. Mira goes to school. Like I said, she's not in like crazy pain. It was just not... a loud crack and then it was just yeah. good. But it was, it didn't, it looked nasty with the swelling and stuff, but anyway. So I go to work. Then the COVID stuff, the shutdown gets announced for SA, so everyone goes bananas. I'm at, I'm in a freaking mile long line up at Coles just to go get some random shit. Not even panic buying, just get a couple things. And anyways, the doctor rings me. Oh yeah, I forgot to ring you. Well, no, I forgot, but yeah, I've been meaning to bring you back. Um, yeah, Mira's actually got a crack in her thumb and you need to come here today, get a temporary cast put on it. And then you need to go down to the women's and children's tomorrow morning to get a pin put in. So, perfect timing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Everything's supposed to be completely shut down, so I'm not even sure where we're going to stand with all this, but we're off to the duty doctor now, go catch up with the old mate again, when they're going to put the temporary cast on and give us some more deets. So, yeah, stay tuned, we'll let you know how it goes. Yep. And we're out from our first uh, fitting of the first temporary cast. And look at this big son bitch. It's very yeah so wide. yeah we're off to Adelaide at, for uh, nine o'clock well we're gonna be there at nine but we don't actually know what time we're gonna go in there there was quite a decent um, crack of um, yeah there's like the growth plate at the bottom of this part of your thumb there so down the bottom there it chipped up a piece in the corner so they're potentially gonna put a, Moved apart. a piece of wire through there or something so we'll find out more about that tomorrow but yeah so stay tuned Have fun. No. <laughs> Thumbs up though. Yeah, thumb, yeah great. <laughs> Mira's not too worried about heading off to surgery. Uh, you were asleep when I turned it off. Yeah. Well, she wasn't too worried, she was asleep. Roads are fairly empty, but there's still plenty of people getting around the place. There's a couple. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. There is people getting around, obviously. All um, what should I call them? Essential workers and such. Stay tuned. Mm. All masked up, ready to go in and uh, see what's happening. Yeah. Quick update, we are in Amira's, or well, the room that Amira will be in for recovery after the surgery. So yeah, I'll insert the photo here somewhere of the break that's in her thumb. And uh, yeah, we'll see how she goes coming out of the surgery. Yeah. Are nervous down here? Yeah, sorry. I just had the surgeon come in. Yeah. Just a bit of a chat and said we're pretty close though. So. Faster than like 5.50 till I've done fasting. So you've done your full fasting and then yeah. Just a matter of going for a little snooze. Yeah. Waking up should be sweet as. Yeah. I have to put in the full 
possibly. Yeah, get her off the gown pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there we go. After an hour and a half of sitting in the car waiting, about an hour and a half, the nurses rang and said for her ward is uh, rang and said she's out of surgery, back in her room, having an ice block. She's all good apparently, so let's go see. Easy. How's it go? Good. How you feeling? Really weird. <laughs> Feel like it took a long time? No. Just woke up and... I could barely wake up though. Yeah. And every time they tried to talk to me, I just agreed with them because I don't really know what they're saying. <laughs> they asked me a few questions, but I can't remember what they said. It's pretty much just like us agreeing with you when you're talking really. Yeah. Just agreed to get you to stop talking. Yeah, I have something in my head. Oh yeah, that's just the thing for the young. Um, that still doesn't feel very good. That's just the thing for the drip. I'll take it out, so. I don't remember falling to sleep. No. I remember she put something on my face. Yeah. And then I had to breathe that in and out, and that's the last night I remember. Yeah, that was Is that like, what made me good? Nothing guess, yeah. For that and drip one, yeah. Did she actually put something in my arm? Yeah. Is that what That's what that thing is, it's hanging out your arm. Oh, I don't that's know. That's where it goes. Oh, wait, did she do that before I put the mask on? Yeah. I remember feeling that, but I didn't know that was it because she just said she was clean in my hand. And then I had a yellow zipper duper, but I can't remember if that's still there or not. The zipper duper? Yeah, I had zipper duper and I put the rubbish there, but oh, I don't know. No, they probably come and got it. And, and you had a drink on this side. Yeah. Don't spill it. Apple juice there. Oh, yeah. And then I have this big thing. Oh, you can show me once you're dressed. And everything, my whole arm's yellow. Got a cool cast or not yet? No, I don't know. Look, it is all yellow. It's sticky. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. Yeah, it is so all you throw, You can throw up a half full. Yeah. You can throw up a half full. But my whole thumb's covered now. Yeah. Well, that's why I'd be a half full. I thought. Throwing up gang signs. So yeah, it is yellow. Yeah, I know. There's all the stuff from cleaning it after they cut it. Yeah, I'm going to Oh, that's it. Done. Simple. I didn't feel anything. No. I couldn't wake up very well. No, that happens. It was very hard to wake up. Oh, oh, oh it's so cold. True. Well, they just said you knew and you have to stay for one hour, so. I don't have to stay for an hour. Minimum of one hour, yeah. Um, then if you're good after that and had something to eat or whatever, then and you feel no good, you can go in. So I have to take this big old thing like in my arm. Yeah, you can't worry, but just leave it here after you just have my brace on your hand. What? Will they, will they eventually change it or something? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. I hope so, I don't feel any silence. No, they can't. Well, they can't still. It's a little bit hard, but not really at all. No. Uh, it's hard, but then there's like a soft thing on the top of it. Yeah. So that's the other one where you could just tap it in and win. We'll find out why. So, uh... mm. And around my mouth tasted really weird. Mm. It was really gross. Alright, well, I'll catch you tomorrow, miss. What? I said I'll catch you tomorrow. No, what? <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Don't do that. Oh, well, there it is. We're out of here. All done. What time did we come in? We came in about oh, 9 o'clock. Yeah. And now we're, we're leaving at about 3.30. 3.30, yeah. How do you feel? Good. Still a bit tired. A bit dodgy? Yeah, felt a bit weird when I woke up. I'm yeah, not hurting too much? Nah, my thumb's a bit sore, but... Had a piece of wire or something in there, basically? Yeah, pretty much. Nice. Alright, that's it. Righto, so that is a wrap on Amira's first ever surgery operation. What do you think? Um, it was scary to start with, but it was, it was something I didn't even know I was doing. No, it was all good. Yeah. How's that? I'm feeling now. We're 
it's actually pretty good. A day or two later, but... It's just annoying because it's so heavy and... Big and bulky. Showering is so much effort. Yeah. But, overall, went through it like a champ. Pretty much smiled the whole way. Yep. Whole way through it. Maybe there was not so much of a smile just when you got onto the bed just as they were about yeah, to... Yeah, that was really scary. <laughs> give you a little nap, but... Yeah. Otherwise, she had me come in there with her just while they did the... Um, while they just did the... Uh, anesthetic whatever you call it put her to sleep sort of thing so that's why i had put that photo in with me in the sweet little red hat and yeah, stuff so right. yeah, yeah we had to get but the um out. yeah no, that's it that's all good so um thanks for breaking that and getting me a video yeah, that welcome. was good <laughs> and to you guys like comment subscribe all that sort of stuff please and um yeah thanks for watching living and breaking thumbs in big mouth world <laughs>